for my teacher a couple of times the first time was a no bueno second time was much better and she asked me a couple of weeks ago she's like hey do you want to sub for me on Thanksgiving weekend I was like oh I'll let you know about that because honestly I had to think about it because I'm like it can go either way at this point like they can either hate me again or love me depending on what I create and creating their um, yoga class is very, for me, it takes a lot of work because I know what they're looking for and I know what they do and do not like. So I'm going to show you some videos. You'll see uh, the first time I was practicing it, basically I did what I did for my own personal class, but since my classes are shorter in time, I had to include more poses in it. So I started doing that and then I'm sleeping one night and I wake up and I'm like, oh, no, 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 I can't have them on their knees for too long because that was one of the things that they complained about. Like, oh, we don't like to be on our knees, whatever. So then I woke up the next morning and switched it around and kept some of the poses, but then I took some stuff out, added some things in, and then I was working on the playlist to make sure it went perfectly with different things that we were doing. And it made me laugh because I remember a couple of weeks ago we had a workshop and one of the teachers who's been teaching for a while he asked my teacher he was like um how do you he's like when do you feel comfortable walking around instead of having to do the class with the class if that makes any sense and in my head I was thinking like for me personally I have to the reason I record myself practicing is because I like to record myself see what works and then I watch the video as I type up what I'm doing so that I, that way I have a reference of what I'm doing and then if I change things back and forth and then I continue to practice it like if I taught the class Saturday I practiced Thursday Friday Saturday morning like I made sure that I knew what I was doing and then for me it makes it more it makes it easier to walk around the class to watch my um, students in front of me and connect with them instead of being on my mat and focusing on what I'm doing so yeah, I think for me personally, I think maybe it's because it's from training, like as a trainer, I make sure to write everything down so when I'm in front of my client, I know exactly what we're doing. Same thing for teaching yoga. I think it's important to do your homework per se and have everything prepared. But yeah, turns out they loved it. The tweaks that I made, thank God I made those changes. I actually made changes the very morning, like that morning of. I made changes and a couple of the ladies approached me after class they were like it's so great thank you so much they even clapped so yeah so I think if she asks me next time to go back I'm not even gonna think about it so I'm like yeah I'll go I'll go because I know what they like and I know how to accommodate the way my teachings for them does that make sense but yeah but all in all it was a really good weekend got to see my family finally got to meet one of my nephews he's Hispanic so well my family anyways I know in other cultures, like a cousin's child is your second cousin, but for Hispanics from in my family, we consider them our, our niece or nephew. So my cousin had a son, and I haven't had a chance to meet him because either I'm in school, 
basically it's because I'm in school because usually they come down on the weekends they live in Maryland so they come down on the weekends and I don't get to see them but finally got to meet him he's so freaking cute y'all he's so so cute oh he's just I don't know he's half Vietnamese half Dominican and I joke with them like so a Vietnamese and a Dominican basically make a Filipino baby because he looks Filipino he's so his eyes are so big and so beautiful anyways but it was a good weekend all in all freaking Saturday I went to bed so late like you guys know I'm in bed by like 7 o'clock at night I was in bed 2 30 in the morning truth truth but yeah so that's that but like I said I'm happy to get back into my routine woke up this morning did a workout want to go do laundry have to go fold my laundry once I'm done recording this enjoying my smoothie it is spinach banana almond milk and protein powder chocolate protein powder which is why it looks like mud and I have many socks on I actually someone I met on social media sent me these socks like last year two years ago and they're so freaking cute I love them they're perfect when I wear Uggs to just slide my feet right in yeah I'm basic today I wore Uggs to go do laundry and it's funny when you're wearing Uggs you can't help but walk around as if you're in house slippers even though you're walking in the street and I kept hearing my feet like going like that sliding sound I'm like oh my god but anyways I'm gonna go because I need to fold laundry might do some cardio for a little bit I'm gonna figure it out yeah I have to do something but as always my loves thank you so much for watching and namaste bye